Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Halo and why I love it so much. Especially after playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer, it's kind of made me realize how much I actually missed the series. Now, we actually streamed the games, I think it was earlier this year, and some last year we played through all the campaigns, a little bit of multiplayer, but just recently, Microsoft released the it's, it's free to play beta. It's in beta state right now, which the full release is here in December. I think it's December the 8th is when the full game comes out, which I'm pretty excited, mainly for the campaign. But I've actually been playing a lot of the multiplayer, which I'm kind of surprised because I suck at multiplayer games, especially Halo. I used to be really good at it. I used to be really good at Halo a long time ago. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So what got me thinking about this is there's this video as well as a Halo Infinite review by a Twitch streamer. And I don't know his name. I was actually watching Griffin Gaming and he made a video about this guy. The guy basically, you know, I'll try to put some clips in here that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And maybe I can find the guy's name, which I don't really care. I don't want to give him any traffic, so I don't really care. Especially on his take on this, because it's incredibly stupid. Um, flabbergasting, actually. I, I, I just can't believe what the shit was coming out of his mouth. But this streamer... <laughs> I guess he's a streamer. I guess he's a Call of Duty streamer, which explains a lot. Um, this guy basically compared Halo Infinite to a PS2 looking game, which what PS2 game looks like Halo Infinite, let me know. I want to play that shit. I really do. I'd like to see that. And saying that Halo player is the only reason people want to go back and play Halo is because of roast in the glasses, which Halo, there hasn't been a Halo game in five four five years that's halo 5 guardian that's been a while i was in illinois when i came out and that's been a while i think i was 2016 so it's been a long time since halo's had a new game and infinite is just around the corner and they released the multiplayer which is free to play never happened in halo now i do think there is a, a free to play halo game overseas um I'm pretty sure there is. Um, I think ten, maybe ten cents or somebody. I, I'll try to find out about that. We'll we'll talk about that later. But the guy rambles on and saying how you know Halo is a bad game. Now get this: the guy didn't even install the game. He said he was never a Halo player, which he is kind of cringy because. You Halo Halo players, you you Halo players like, okay, and this dude's just trash talking, um, just basically calling the audience a bunch of dumb boomers. And this guy is probably in his thirties, like I'm thirty four. He's probably same age as me, and he's playing Call of Duty on streaming, which says a lot. He he compared the Halo people, which. Back in the day on the Xbox and Xbox 360, um, you know, back in the day, you know, Xbox Live was inherently a lot of kids that was on this saying foul things, which I was one of them. I just told on myself I was one of them. I was actually one of those uh, people. And he was kind of right on that. But he made it seem like it's still a big thing, which... I think the Call of Duty Duty community is way more toxic than what Halo is. You know, I've had a pretty good time playing Infinite's multiplayer. The only thing I don't care about in Infinite is the progression system, which a lot of people has problems with. Um, it's not very rewarding, but this is the best playing Halo game ever, in my opinion. The best playing. It marries the original Halo gameplay with some of the, you know, quality of life things that Halo 5 and Halo 4 tried to introduce. Um, and it combines them in a pretty damn good package. It's not very buggy. It actually feels like it's 
you know, fully built. There's a lot of features that's not in it, like some game modes. And like I said, the microtransactions, they're in it. This is a free-to-play game. You, you want to see stuff similar to Egan 2, Call of Duty Warzone, and Fortnite. Your standard affair for um, buying, I, I think it's all casual, like... Um, Costumes and stuff like that, skins, um, nothing to make you better at the game. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. I always, always forget. Whenever I have something to talk about and there's a certain term, I always forget the term. So yeah, there's there's no free to play, pay to win mechanics in this game. But like I said, the progression system does need work, and yeah. It just needs work, a lot of work. I mean, you can play a single game and get 50 XP. You could be headshotting and 360 no scoping, you know, 20 kills and you get 50 XP. Well, probably more than that, but kind of. Now, I, I haven't played the last couple of days, so I don't know if they put some new stuff in, which I know 343 Industries was supposed to make some changes here, which hopefully they do. Um, but to say that I was flabbergasted by this dude's so-called review, the game's not even out. The multiplayer is. And this guy said he reviewed it without installing the game. He's never played a Halo game before. And uh, he based his review on what he says was PlayStation 2 graphics. That's you heard that throughout. That was a theme throughout the whole video. And again, I said I'll link the video in the description. And I'll put a little bit of. And now the same game is pretty much out, looking the same like a PlayStation 2 game. And everyone is excited as if it's the greatest invention in the history of everything. I mean, it's it's not like you couldn't play Halo. But kind of like, why now? <laughs> clips in here that way you guys can enjoy it with me you know it's pretty cringy i watched the whole thing and it was a roughly and uh, this was on griffin gaming's uh channel he actually did a i think for it and i watched it, it was like 25 minutes long and i was really confused what what this guy was talking about um he's he Criticized Halo for not having kill streaks. Um, said it, you know, feels dated, which it feels like Halo. Call of Duty feels like Call of Duty. Battlefield feels like Battlefield. But for some odd reason, in 2021, there's a multiplayer game on the market, brand new actually, that's come out in the last few months, which we've had some doozies. Of openers like Battlefield 2042, whatever it is. 20, is it 2042? I don't care. I'm not buying it. Not now. I might buy it later down the road after they patch it. Usually, you have to wait a year or so before Battlefield gets good. And it doesn't look like it's happening at the beginning, even though it was kind of hyped up to be super awesome, which I heard the portal system or portal mode is pretty cool. Uh, Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. I, I, I enjoyed the campaign. I've put, put a few hours in the Vanguard's multiplayer. The thing is, like, I've... A, a lot of streamers, a lot of bigger streamers that are mainly Call of Duty Warzone players, Fortnite players, PUBG players, um, they come to expect that every big multiplayer game has to have some form of Battle Royale. Now, would it be cool if, if Halo Infinite had a Battle Royale uh, mode? Yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting, like... It'd be kind of cool to have, you know, the big sprawling map like you're used to in the campaign where you're, you can roam a little bit, um, maybe do a whole ring, uh, that which would be insane. Battlefield, now here being down to 25,000 <laughs> below Vanguard, and Battlefield is not even out for a week, is absolute crazy. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see where Halo Infinite is. Again, Halo Infinite is right now hot and popular. Everyone just playing, everyone just enjoying themselves. But again... I just, I just don't see the appeal, considering that it's a multiplayer game that looks absolutely outdated, 
and plays very try hard, especially is controller dominated. I've seen the Halo freaking aim assist, and that's quite something. But now then watching someone play, you know, I don't really know how I would feel about a Halo Battle Royale. I don't know how that would translate. I mean, they have things like big team battles, but Battle Royale is really different. So I don't know how they would handle a match of 100 different players on a huge map. I don't know if the engine's built for it. It could be. That could be something that's coming. I don't know. I think it could do a foul. A lot of streamers are saying this game will die within you know a couple months. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think people that love Halo, they're going to play Halo, which I'm going to stream Halo. I'm going to stream that. I am. I am. I promise I'm going to stream. I promise it's going to happen. I will stream Halo's campaign and some multiplayer. I, sh I said I was going to stream Pokemon, and here I am. I've been playing Pokemon, like, nonstop, and I have streamed, streamed a bit of it, which is concerning. But... <laughs> I keep on jumping off topic here with, with the guy. Um, it was really cringy, just the way he approached things. Uh, basically calling Halo players, Halo players, which a gamer. I'm, I'm just going to say the Halo community basically called them, you know, kids and boomers. And... Uh, and Obviously, all these people that are so excited about it, they're like, I used to play Halo when I was 12, and I was going to championships, and back in the high school when I was lifting 408, that's where I was playing Halo and shitting on your mom. <clears throat> um, <laughs> casuals, which Call of Duty is the most casual game you can play in terms of a first-person shooter. Halo was introduced to casuals. I, you know, it's a casual shooter. I like to hop, hop in on Halo Infinite and casually play without feeling pissed off. I feel like when I'm playing mo Modern Warfare or uh, Warzone or whatever, I feel like I'm not having fun because it's just not fun. Like, I feel agitated every time I play uh, Warzone. I just feel pissed off for some reason. But I keep on playing it. I don't know why. On Halo, I'm just having fun. I'm getting my ass kicked, but I'm still having fun. The controls are good. It runs smooth. Um, it looks great to me. Again, this guy said several times that Halo Infinite looked like a PlayStation 2 game. For me, that looks outdated. Apart from the campaign. Honestly, the campaign in 4K, I'll say it. The campaign in 4K has my interest to play through once, maybe, just to see where it's going. Even though it feels like a less action-paced Doom. I mean, I like shooter campaigns like Doom because pretty quick and freaking awesome. But it does look intriguing. I mean, from what I've seen so far with the graphics and the gameplay and yeeting cars off cliffs. <laughs> and I dare, like I said, I dare say, show me a PS2 game that looks like Halo Infinite. I'd like to see it. I really do. really would like to see it. So, I I mean, for the most part, this guy was full of shit. Uh, I don't want to give too much more time of it. I, I don't know his name. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll put some clips in here, maybe the subtitle who he is. Um, I'm not attacking this guy. I don't want to attack him. But I do want to say he's full of shit, like big time. And maybe he has, should rethink things a little bit. You would figure somebody that's on a big platform would be more understanding of the culture behind certain games. Uh, the crown for Call of Duty and the crown for Halo is way different. Way different. And, you know, I know a lot of people play Call of Duty for these quick, intense little matches. You know, it lasts about five minutes. Um, you get your kill streaks, get your adrenaline up. A little bit of dopamine going and i think a lot of people you know that's in their dna now a lot of people you know my age we start playing halo when the first xbox came out and that was 20 years ago which is crazy to think 
the first Halo is, I think it's over 20 years old at this point. It, I think I think so. I think it's right at 20, um, which is crazy to think, man. Um, Halo has been always been a big series uh, for multiplayer. It kind of kept the Xbox alive. Um, you know, here comes this late bloomer Microsoft's like, well, let's create a game console, and they launch with Halo, which was pretty awesome. Uh, you know, for the most part, all the games have been pretty high quality. Outside of Halo 5, the campaign was very disappointing to me. Um, I love 4, but I, I love the originals. All of the original. Um, uh, they're all great. The campaigns are great, except for number 5. Um, the multiplayer, for the most part, has been great. I know the Master Chief Collection came out, and it was a mess. I'm not going to say it wasn't a mess because it was a fucking terrible mess. And this just almost now completely fixed. I mean, it's in way better shape than it was when it first came out, which was embarrassing. Uh, really embarrassing. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Really crazy to think about that. I remember, like, going to my friends. We'd take uh, our TVs, our Xbox 360s. Uh, we'd hook them up, have LAN parties. Uh, playing, you know, Halo against each other, like, um, you know, have TVs like lined up, and oh, dude, it was it was awesome getting the uh, Doritos, uh, hot and ready Mountain Dew. Uh, what was it? Uh, Gamer Fuel. You guys just had to be there. Had to be there. Halo Three was wild times. You know, going through the midnight releases of these things, which I don't really go through the midnights anymore, like on any game. Um, I just don't see it used to, mainly because I don't buy physical games except for what's on the Switch. I do have some retro games for, I guess they're now retro consoles, like the PlayStation 3 and the Wii U. I still have, and the Wii, I still have those, um, but you can't really get them anymore. But as far as things go, like, the guy was kind of dumb to post a, I've never played Halo. I never installed Halo Infinite. I'm going to review this game without even knowing anything about it. Not touching it. No interest in touching it. But I'm going to review it. And I'm going to say really bad things to the Halo community. I mean, Halo players. You know. Yes. Guys, let me know what you think. Definitely appreciate it. Again, we're not attacking anybody. We're just saying how we feel. I don't want anybody to go after him, um, even though he's wrong. I don't want anybody to go after him. So I'll see you guys soon. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.